Hello guys, welcome to Mad About Films YouTube channel. My name is Anuj Nirmal and today I'm going to talk about all the video editors available out there. I'll be talking about first a video editors available for Mac and then for Windows. And then I will also talk about free video editors that you can use and then I also talk about the beginner video editors and the professional video editors. Stay tuned to the end because I will be telling you about what my personal opinion are, what are, what are the best actual video editors should you use and I will also tell about what are the uses when you should consider a video editor over the other video editor. So let's start with the free video editors, all the free video editors for Mac and Windows both. So let's get started. So I have my phone on my hand where the list of all the video editors so I am going to look at this. First three video editors are for very very basic needs like if you just want to combine photos or small videos that you shoot at home and I'm not doing any professional work or not even planning to go and do some complex editing like speed ramping and stuff like that. So for that uses, well, you have three options. First one is Windows Movie Maker. If you have Windows 7 operating system then you will have this video editor pre-installed. If you don't then if you have Windows 10 then you can install it. This is a very basic video editor you can just you can cut the video put them together trim and add music to it. So this is the feature that is offered by Windows Movie Maker. So I would highly recommend if you are just getting started and are not planning to become a video editor or a professional movie maker. So you can just use this if you are just uh, shooting the normal home videos. The next one is VHDC Video Editor. So this is a very capable video editor but I am still adding this to very basic that is because this video editor if you have a 2GB RAM laptop or a 4GB RAM laptop you can still use this video editor. And before I move on guys remember that all the video editor links will be in the description. So let's move on to this. Avid Max. Avid Max video editor is also a free video editor that you can use and this is all this also provides very basic features. So the three very basic videos that I mentioned were Windows Movie Maker, VHDC video editor and Avid Max. Use this if you just want to add photos, mix them together and just trim your videos and render it out and share with your family. Now let's talk about free video editors that are also professional. When I tell you professional, what does that mean? That means that you can edit a full length movie on this. You can also edit like a 4K video on this. So the first video editor we have is Lightworks. The Lightworks video editor is a very professional video editor. The features that are offered by is color grading, sound mixing and a lot of various effects that you find in like DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. And the system requirement for that is 4GB RAM plus. You need at least 4GB RAM to run this. But I would recommend you to go with 8GB RAM with professional video editors because in professional video editors you are not going to edit like full TP video, right? You are going to edit 720p videos or full HD videos. So for that you need at least 8GB RAM in your laptop. If you are going to edit 4K, just remember that use 16GB RAM laptop with a processor with more than 4 cores. Okay, let's move on to the next one which is Shortcut. Lightworks and Shortcut both are open source. The Shortcut is also a free video editor. The user interface is more like a iMovie. So this, these are both available for Mac and Windows as well. The next one in our list is DaVinci Resolve. Now let me tell you, this DaVinci Resolve has two versions. One is free and the other is one cost you $299. So now, the, who uses DaVinci Resolve? DaVinci Resolve is used by professional colorists and people who color grade. DaVinci Resolve is a very capable video editor. I should not say capable, it is the, one of the best video editors out there. On this you will be able to edit feature length movies with very high quality. You will be able to render it out at very high bitrate as well as you will be able to do color grading because this is best in color grading. But the problem with is this is if you have very low end PC or a laptop then this video editor is not for you. I tried running it on 8GB RAM laptop but it just did not work. So the minimum requirement is 16GB RAM. You should at least have 16GB RAM and at least a processor with 4 cores and more than that. Then you will be able to run smoothly and edit at least full HD videos. The next in our list is Hitfilm Express. Now this video editor is not just a video editor, it is also a compositing software. So now this software is also a ripped down version of a fully fledged video editor and a compositing software. Pro version is Hitfilm Pro. Now the Express version, all the capabilities are there for Pro version. You can edit, trim, you can add mix, but there are some effects that are not available like 3D effects. If you are not planning to do 3D effects anytime soon, then the Hitfilm Express is enough for you. And let's move on to the next software and that is OpenShot. OpenShot as the name suggests is an open source video editor. This interface is also like iMovie which is of Mac and this all the video editor that I mentioned are available for Mac as well. If you are using Windows, Linux or Mac you will be able to use all this. It has all the features of like other video editor and you will be able to reuse it if you have 4GB RAM laptop. Now let's talk about the paid ones. So the paid ones I have around 5 video editors that are paid one and are really good. So the first one is Final Cut Pro. 
If you are using Mac, then this is one of the best video editors that you can use to cut a feature length film as well as making a professional video editors for your commercial works. When I checked the Final Cut's website, it recommended 4GB RAM, but I don't recommend 4GB RAM because you will not be able to even edit 720p with a good, uh, like a decent speed. I would at least recommend go with 8GB. It will be better if you have 16GB to if you are editing 4K videos, then 60GB will be the way for you. And the cost of this is $299, which is a one-time purchase. So now the next in our list is Premiere Pro. Also, the one thing I need to mention, guys, the paid ones that I'm mentioning are like a very professional video editor. So you cannot really go wrong with this. But the problem with Premiere Pro is that it does not offer one-time fees. But it is good if you don't have like a lot of money in ahead of you to spend it. It has a subscription model, so you have to pay $20 per month to get this software. And if you want to get the full Adobe Cloud, which includes After Effects and all, you can pay like around $30. And the next in our list is DaVinci Resolve. As I mentioned, it is the world's best software for color grading. And the minimum requirement for this is 16 GB RAM. The problem with DaVinci Resolve is that this does not run on low-end PCs. You need like a very high workstation for to run this. And the price is also $299. The best part is that if you have purchased any of the hardware from Blackmagic, then this software comes free for you. The next in our list is HitFilm Pro. This software I would recommend when if you have a very low end PC like 4GB RAM laptop and like a decent uh, processor but you still need to do a, like a editing a professional way then the HitFilm Pro is the way for you. The best part is that it combines the After Effects as well as Premiere Pro features in one and then you can also the next and the last in our list is Avid Media Composer. Avid Media Composer this is one also one of the best video editors out there but I won't recommend because the user interface is not that great. Now this was all the video editors. The video editors I mentioned are mostly available for both except Final Cut Pro and iMovie is only available for Mac users. The rest of the video editors are available for both Macs and Windows but there are some that are also available for Linux. Now let's talk about my thoughts on beginner video editors and professional video editors. So a lot, lot of people say that if you are a beginner then you go with Filmora, Video Editor, Hit Film Express and all that thing but I don't think that if you are a beginner that you should go with this because anyways you are going to learn a new software why not instead go for a professional video editors because the thing with the video editors is that video editors are not really difficult to learn they are very simple all the thing the only thing that you need to do is go to YouTube and just type your video editor like Premiere Pro in 30 minutes or Premiere Pro in learn in one video or you can just type Premiere Pro tutorial and what just by watching one video you will be ready enough to edit a short film so I don't think I don't really suggest you to go with a beginner video editor if you are planning to move and move for professional work. If you are only going to edit home videos and just edit live videos for fun, then you can go with beginner. If you are new to video editors but still but are planning to move on to professional work and take some commercial work, go straight with professional video editors because anyways you are going to learn the beginner one. Why not just learn the, the professional one? Now let me tell you if you want to if you want to do commercial work, professional work, and still don't have any money but have a good hardware with you, like a good, very good PC. Then the only software that I would recommend is DaVinci Resolve because that pre feature and the pro feature, there is not really any difference. The best part is that you get a compositor as well as normal video editor. Now the compositor is not any compositor, it is Fusion. When the Blackmagic bought the Fusion, they integrated both in DaVinci 16. Now let me tell you about if you have a very low end PC, like a 4GB RAM but still want to do commercial work and still want to use a professional video editor and that point I would recommend you to use Premiere Pro and I know I mentioned that it requ requires more than 8GB RAM but if you go with a Premiere Pro CS6 or older version you will be able to run them on 4GB RAM laptop I can assure you guys that it runs very smoothly as I, when I had 4GB RAM laptop I used Premiere Pro CS6 and I was able to run and edit full HD video as well as 720p video but remember guys if you want to edit 4K videos then you need to upgrade your system or else you need to use proxy but but proxy requires a lot of time to render and if you have a lot of limited time then you do, can't really do that one thing that I forgot to tell you guys is that all these video editors that I mentioned are very capable to produce to edit a very good short film and to edit any short film what do you need to edit a short film just a program that is capable of cutting it and trimming it and then adding music to it and just doing some correction little correction here and there then that is the only thing that you want that any video editor that I mentioned you can use that only time I think that you should buy a video editor is when you need some extra features like color complete color grading software like DaVinci Resolve um, like Premiere Pro and Final Cut offers then that the, that is the time that you can upgrade and also when you need to add lot of other effects that are not possible in the free video editors then is the time that you need to upgrade otherwise if you are just going to edit, edit simple cuts and add music then any video editor that I mentioned will do so guys that's it for today remember all the link will be in the description and 
if I miss any video, it, I will be writing in a comment and then pin it. You can check that out. And if you have any question regarding to the video editors I mentioned, then comment. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you guys. Meet you in the next video.